Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion. We've been reading through the Psalms, talking about the songs of faith and talking about our own hymnal in that regard and how it kind of compares to that. In them. And so one of the places that happens within the Psalter, within the book of Psalms, I mentioned at the very beginning that, that the, they can be kind of divided into three subsets. The ones that were written before the exile, when, when the kingdom was going well, the ones that were written during the exile, when things were going all horrible and it was a lamentable time and a sad time. And then there are songs after the exile, when they return to Israel, when they return and rebuild the temple and things start to look good again. But well, one of the things that happens in this post-exile Psalter is that people begin praising God and giving thanks to God for what God has done, praising God for who God is and giving thanks to God for what God has done. These are all the Psalms that are Psalms of thanksgiving or Psalms of praise. And you find them all over the place within the Psalter, but especially towards the end, as they were collecting them, they put the ones at the end that were praise to the Lord, praise to the Lord, praise God for what God has done, praise God with a symbol, praise God with a liar. Praise God who is above us all. And we have hymns like this in our hymnal as well. They, they come from deep within our tradition, deep within who we are, because we know we've gone through, like the people of Israel, hard times, and now we feel that we're on the other side. We're on the side where we can lift up God's name. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to thee. Holy thou art holy, all the saints adore thee, which word and art and evermore shall be. We, we praise God in this song. We, we express God as being holy. Three times holy, holy, holy. And there's a reason for that also from the biblical, by the way. It's that in the Hebrew language, they didn't have comparatives and superlatives. Those are the, the, the ways that we uh, offer words that compare two things or the way that we offer a word that says this is the best you know, you have good, you have better, and you have best. You use good when something's good. You use better when you want to compare two things, and we have best. That's when it's the awesomest. And so in the Hebrew language, because they didn't have these, if they wanted to say something was the most, they would repeat it three times. So in our song, as we praise God with holy, 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 that we take from Isaiah, that we take from the book of Revelation, what we're expressing is we're saying and we're naming God as being the most holy, holiest, holiest that there ever can be. God is the best. God is good. God is good. God is good. Today, praise God. Praise God in psalm. Praise God in song. Praise God for what God has done. Praise God for who God is. You'll find within your heart, you'll feel better together when we offer praise for who and what God is and has done today. Amen.